Hi, my name is Gavin Farrington. I am a local and destination wedding photographer based out of Northern California. Okay, some of you may occasionally notice that you get um, what technically is called chromatic aberration, I believe. I'm not a scientist, but that's my understanding. Um, uh, in some of your images, a lot of times we call it purple fringing. Um, it can also happen at the other side of the spectrum and come out as green. Um, either way, you can see it here in this image. Um, if you see the highlights of this jovial fellow's um, plastic wig, shall we call it. If we look a little bit closer here, you can see that there's these purple fringes around the specular highlights on the plastic hair there. I find that really distracting. I don't like it. Um, you can see it a little bit on the edges of the wireframe of the glasses as well. There is a solution for this in Lightroom, and it's pretty cool. I wanted to show it to you. Come down here to the Lens Corrections panel, go over to the Color tab, pick up the eyedropper, and you can eyedrop on this purple area and you'll know that it's ready to eyedrop because the eyedropper will change color. You see here the eyedropper is filled with white and as I move closer to the purple edge there it shifts to purple. That's the indicator that Lightroom saying hey I see some purple that we can defringe. Go ahead and click. So I can click there and you see how it removes it makes it all gray. It sort of neutralizes that. If I had clicked where the eyedropper is white like it is now, then we'll get this little error message saying you have to pick something else. Um, the same thing happens when you're sampling a green fringe. Um, anyhow, that's there you go. So, one thing to watch out for, however, is when you're doing this in photographs of humans, especially in the purple spectrum, uh, Lightroom will occasionally pick up part of the skin tone as something to gray out and remove. Obviously that's not good. We don't like these little blocks of gray along the chin, this stripe of gray along the uh, collar line there. So what we can do to fix that is come over here where it's, um, uh, to where it says purple hue. You can grab this slider on the end and just pull it in until the skin tone comes back. And there we just got it. Did you see that change? If I go back out a little bit, there the gray comes back along the neckline. If we slide it in, the gray disappears. And yet, look up here, the purple fringing on the uh, plastic headpiece is still gone. We can also move on to take care of some of the green. Um, it's not quite as obvious in this image, but do you see how there's a little bit of the green fringing happening behind the focal plane there on the shadow? So we can pick that dropper up again, go in here, wait till it turns green, click, and there it goes. It selects the color range, the amount, and removes it for you. Fortunately with green, it's very unlikely that that's going to impact anybody's skin tone, so you don't have to check around the rest of the image quite as much. But there you go, now we don't have that distracting purple stuff. Alright, thanks for watching. If this has been helpful and you like that my videos get straight to the point, feel free to uh, follow me and uh, spread the word about my channel. Thanks a lot.